Okay, so the last question. We have a new camera, a new action camera being sold in a box, five centimeters high, 14 centimeters wide, 24 centimeters long. Work out the volume of the box in centimeters cubed. So volume of a cuboid is length by width by height. The length is 24, the width is 14, and the height is 5. So if you multiply 24 by 14 by 5, you get 1680 centimeters cubed. And um, if we go and have a look at the answer, there it is there, 1680. And um, the little square brackets mean that the units are not required in this case. So sometimes they are, sometimes they aren't. Um, so here they aren't, which means there's no minus one for units. So I get five marks for that one. So 36 boxes are packed together and the cover one centimeter thick is put around is put all around the outside of the 36 boxes as shown. Work out the outside dimensions of this cover. Okay, so <coughs> excuse me, height is first. So the height, um what is the height? Five. So we have a five and a five and a five and a five and then this is one and this is one so that is five times four plus one plus one so 22 next is the width and um, so I suppose if I go across this way what's that for yeah 14 this way next one's 14 next one's 14 and then you have a one here and a one here so it's 14 times 3 plus 1 plus 1 that's 44 centimeters and then the length which is going kind of back this way so that bit there is 24 and then 24 and then 24 and again then you have your one and your one so 24 times 3 plus 1 plus 1 24 24 times 3 plus 1 plus 1 74 Okay, so 22, 44, 74, um, a whole load of partials are available, 10 marks if you get it for the right. Okay, and then the cover is put around the 36, the cover that is put around the 36 boxes is made of plastic. Work out the volume of plastic. Okay, so if we work out the volume inside the plastic cover and we minus off the volume of the 36 boxes and what's left should be the, um, the plastic yeah so if that's the like the volume inside the plastic cover is all the space inside the dimensions of the plastic cover and then most of that space is going to be taken up with 36 boxes and whatever is left, whatever isn't taken up by 36 boxes is just the plastic. So the volume of the plastic cover, it's in the shape of a cuboid, so it's going to be length by width by height, which is 74 by 44 by 22. And then we're going to minus off 36 boxes. Each box is 1680. So we're going to minus off 36 times 1680. Okay, so 74 by 44 by 22 is 71632. And then 36 times 1680 is 60,480. So 71632 minus the 60,480, and I'm getting 11,000. 152 centimeters cubed of plastic. Okay, and um, so 
11,152 centimeters cubed. And um, again, there's plenty of partials, but that one is worth 10 marks. So I'm going to give myself I'm going to give myself 10 marks. Uh, so that I think comes to a total of yeah, 10, 20, 25. So I go all right back up to the top and put in my 25. So question five is worth 25. Um, so in total, yeah, 25 is what it's worth. Um, okay, so that's the whole um, exam. Went through all the marks there. Um, I will give you the marking scheme as well. So this thing that I've been flicking over to, I'll give you that as well so you can um, mark the exam. Um, just in case anyone is unsure, so the total marks for this exam are 115. So you're going to mark it out of 115. So just in case anyone's not sure how to do that calculation, so let's say I do all my sums and I get 83 out of 115. Okay, so that's my total marks is 83. You do 83 divided by 115 and you multiply it by 100. So 83 divided by 115 multiplied by 100. I get 72.17 which would round to 72%. So that's what I would get as, a, as an example. Okay. Um, so it's going to take you quite a while to go through this and mark it. Um, ideally, you've done the test under test-like conditions. So basically, listen to the video, pause the video where you need to and go consult the marking scheme and try and mark it as best you can. Um, give yourself a percentage and if you could send that percentage back to me um, you can email it to me if you want if you don't want anyone else to see it um, or you can mark it screenshot it and upload the screenshot with your mark on it I don't mind whatever just communicate the percentage to me if you can um, I'm not going to do any other work today because this is going to take you it's going to take you an hour anyway like so I'm not going to do any more work today um, so all you have to do for today or until Monday is mark your exam, okay? Treat it a little bit like an exam, a little bit like homework. So if you get it wrong, don't just mark it wrong. You know, obviously give yourself zero marks, but put the right answer in. So make sure that you know how to do it and you're correcting it and make a few notes for yourself on how to do it, okay? And um, so then on Monday, we are going to start algebra. Okay, so get that marked and get your percentages on to me if you can. All right, thanks guys. Have a good weekend.